general manager. First, you can see my my initial thought was Stone Cold Steve Austin. The reason why I thought it was Stone Cold is because Stone Cold is entertaining to watch. He does Stone Cold is the most unpredictable guy you've ever you've, I've ever seen compete in the WWE. You never know what he's gonna do, and anything he does, it's either it's funny or is just unbelievably like entertaining to watch where it just it makes you angry it does something meaningful i thought it was stone cold because stone cold has a habit of being very original in what he does um it could do he could he just like a mock thing i remember watching a video once about him mocking john mocking john cena about his you can't see me taunt and then stone cold stunner okay Next, um, The Rock. The reason why I thought it was, um, The Rock, and for those of you who don't know, Dwayne Johnson, um, The Rock. The reason I thought it was The Rock is because The Rock has stated in the past that he wanted to get involved in the WWE. N again, not as a wrestler, but as something like maybe a referee. And what I thought, like, when when I when I kind of think, all right, maybe it's not, it's, maybe it's not Stone Cold. I said to myself, all right, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Rock. It's gotta be Rock. I've said to myself, like, Rock is a big name superstar. He has he has the he has experience in terms of relationships with the WWE. He has more he has more than enough um, connections to persuade. I'm sure he still talks to Vince McMahon even though he's not employed by WWE anymore. I'm sure they contact occasionally. So negotiating a business deal and a storyline like this is very is very possible. So that was my original thought. Another thing, and on this I know I mentioned Vince McMahon. The reason why I'm saying Vince McMahon is because you can't roll, you can't, you can't say it's not the big man on campus. Vince McMahon has been general manager of Raw before. He is more than he is. I mean, appointing yourself a GM is not gonna. It hasn't. It's not. It's not unheard of. It being done. I mean, Vince McMahon has more than enough experience and respect in the WWE. But the reason why I think it's not GM, and this is something that's actually that actually came into my head because of something Chris Jericho said. He said, um, and I quote, um, Chris Jericho said, if it was Vince McMahon, he'd be out here barking his orders and be a man about it. And Vince McMahon has had a habit of being very direct, no, not beating around the bush, like get to the point and like don't waste my time. Time is money. That's um, apparently his quota. Um, yeah, Vince McMahon is a possible candidate. Um, uh, I don't know why um, he's had like he sure he sure can get a lot of people on his side. If you think about it during the whole like Vince McMahon allied with the, um, Batista. Um, I mean he and if people who still in the WWE respect Dave Batista, and I'm sure he could get support from him. And just on the side note, I'm Dave Batista, which um, I feel I should kind of address. Um, Dave Batista has quite uh, an ego. I just feel like I should say that. He has a big ego. My next guy is Brett the Hitman Hart. The reason I'm saying Brett is because Brett is he's still semi employed with the WWE. Um, he has more than enough experience, even though it was for only two weeks. But still, I would not rule out Brett the Hitman Hart. He might just fake his whole like, leaving the WWE thing and. Come like as the as the anonymous general manager, throw everyone off guard. No one's thinking Bret Hart because, and the reason why I'm saying in my very view Bret Hart because I remember in one episode Bret Hart had to compete against a member of Nexus on the whole like we kind of recap of the um, SummerSlam match. Um, Bret Hart was actually withdrawn from the match and given a replacement. Um, so he he might well have just pulled off pulled himself out of the match and the way he in a good way he if he was the general manager the anonymous one anyway the way he said it in that email that episode I remember I never I never liked Bret he says he never liked Bret Hart now the fact that he said that gives people like this gives the idea of getting Bret Hart out of their minds. Which would be an even more stunner for a plot line. The last guy you just expect kind of thing, Bret Hart. Um, possibly, I would say, most likely at this point. 
Dave Batista, like I met, I was mentioning him earlier. Dave Batista has more than enough connections with Vince McMahon and other notables in the industry. Still, um, he's been world champion over and over again. Um, he's had few like the way he ended the feud with John Cena and his termination in WWE was something a lot of fans did not like. Not the fact he was terminated, but the way he was terminated. The fact that he lost the I Pit match with John Cena. Um, and Dave Batista, I still, I, I would not rule him out because he still has a bone to pick with a lot of people, notably John Cena. And the whole thing with, and general manager, I don't know if you guys have noticed, um, he's been siding with Nexus a lot recently. It's something that I just see. I don't know if that's to, to, to develop a storyline or to just have a little fun with things or just to get back at Cena for something, which would make perfect sense. Oh, sorry. It would make perfect sense with, um, the feud he had with John Cena before he left. And I know you saw my most, my most notably, I think that, um, if anyone at this point is still a candidate, I would have to say Triple H. Triple H, be honest, never really officially left the WWE, in my opinion. He never officially left because the way he, the way he was um kind of booted out by Seamus. Seamus has been shooting off his mouth about how it, I ended Triple H's career. Like he's been shooting that off since he became like WWE. Not even yeah, since he became champion. Um, he's been talking a lot of smack about like how he ended Triple H's career. How he's now the face of WWE and how. This laddie, he ain't got, he ain't got a chance. I, he's been shooting up his mouth for a while. Um, Triple H, I would not rule him out. Um, Triple H is a very likely candidate. Um, but just to recap, I said Triple H, Dave Batista, Brett the Hitman Hart, Mitch McMahon, um, Dwayne Johnson The Rock, and Stone Cold Steve Austin as all my possible candidates to be on any of the GM at this point. Um, since where I'm, 